Thank you so much for joining us in this exploration of some of the incredible aquatic species that call the Great Lakes region home. While the American eel, lake sturgeon, and wavy reed lamp mussel are different in their physiology, behaviors, and the role that they play in the Great Lakes system, they have one thing in common. They are all classified as species at risk, and this largely due to human activities in the region. We mentioned at the beginning of this series that whether you live rurally or in a big city, we all have a wildlife story. So what does that mean? It means that our actions day to day, big or small, have an impact on wildlife and wild spaces. Through our actions, we have the power to help or hinder species like the American eel, lake sturgeon, and wavy reed lamp mussel. There are many things that we can do to reduce our impact on the species that we share this region with. These actions can be big or small. Oftentimes, it starts with water conservation, whether that's the simple action of turning off the tap when you're done using it, turning off the tap while brushing your teeth, taking a shorter shower, or only using your dishwasher or washing machine when they're full. We can ensure that we dispose of our trash properly, that we remember our three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. When we recycle, remember to recycle well, to follow guidelines in your municipality, to sort your recycling properly, and to rinse recyclables to prevent contamination. All of this allows our cities to recycle better, more effectively. One of our favorite words is reusable. Every time we are able to reuse a product such as a water bottle, a metal straw, or a cloth shopping bag, we create one less item of personal pollution that can end up in local waterways and harm local wildlife. There are bigger ways to get involved, such as organizing a trash cleanup in your neighborhood, participating in a nearby shoreline cleanup initiative, or joining a conservation authority in their research or conservation work. There is no action that is too small. Even small changes to our day-to-day -day habits with the intention of having a more positive impact on wild spaces add up over time and multiply when many people make that commitment to change. The Great Lakes program works in conjunction with many conservation organizations across the region to conduct research, outreach and education, and restoration projects to better protect local aquatic species at risk. But the biggest part of what we do is encourage people like you to make those small but effective changes for the health of the planet, local waterways, and the wildlife that call them home. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the aquatic species at risk in your backyard.